Welcome to Pike and Shot. It's 1870, and the Germans are trying to cut the French off in the Battle of Gravelotte in 1870. I just saw an article on this in uh, Wargamer on the Wargamer.com website. It was saying how I was pushing the Pike and Shot engine kind of to the max, given that this battle happened in 1870 and all that happened. Um, and so we're going to play the Prussians. I don't think there's an option to play the French, so we're stuck playing them. And um, basically, we've got a bunch of cavalry, a bunch of infantry, and we're going to have to assault the French. I'm taking a look at the map, and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty big. And so we'll get episode one in here, and we'll talk a little bit about the Franco-Prussian War and um, how Pike and Shot handles the um, Franco-Prussian War. We're going to go like this. Sorry if you're getting dizzy. I hope there's the town of Gravelotte. And here are the Prussians. So let's take a look at our own troops. And zoom, we're zoomed out as far as we can, but we've got um, 8th Corps here, then part of 7th Corps here, um, and then some cavalry and artillery here, artillery, heavy artillery there. Uh, we've got 25 turns, artillery here, um, and we've got core all the way down here. I also note that two cores going to get here on turn 10, and artillery here, our small, light artillery here, and artillery here. So we're going to get, I need to get our artillery in position and bombard the enemy. The ranges of these guns are a lot farther than they look. I started to play this scenario to kind of get a feel for it, and they're, they're, they can hit each other basically where they are now. So getting across that open field is really going to be the trick. Um, and here's a, So we've got the Germans lined up. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself here. We've got the Germans lined up here. There's a core here, core here, uh, core going across here. This would be the Ninth Corps, part of Third, sorry, Third Corps, and then Ninth Corps. Uh, more Ninth Corps troops, and we're going to have a core here, Tenth Corps, and another core here. There's a core that's going to come in here, and a reinforcing core that is going to come in over here. So the question is, how are we going to attack this? How are we going to break? Uh, how am I going to? I'm going to deal with the enemy position. Uh, the Germans suffered a lot of casualties in this battle, and the French are on high ground over here. That doesn't look good. They're in a high ground and in a fortified village here. That doesn't look good. Uh, we've got some French in the open here. That looks good. Uh, but a stopgap here. And we've also got some infantry over here with another farm over here. And then over here we've got this, this wooded area, a stream. And what I guarantee, yeah, there's a unit right there. Guaranteed there's units up here dug in on the high ground. So... None of that makes sense to attack into this flank. And I got 26 turns to do it. Or this flank over here. This looks like the worst place to attack. Now, the good news is you're coming through the woods. So you'll have some cover. And then you'll be in the middle of open ground here with a kill zone right here. Kill zone right here. And a unit that's going to be very difficult to displace from the fortifications here. It's basically, um, this looks like here, this looks like um, um, Hougemont or La Haye Saint in, um, in Waterloo, in reverse on the other side, on the other flank. And then you got another one over here and yet another one here and here. So it's like little fortress blocks. So what's the best way to crack this thing? I don't know. Probably well, I'd reckon the best way to go at it is to pick a, you know some place where I'm not going to get shot at from all over the field if I, if I attack up the middle I'll be hit from over here I'll be hit from over here on these heights I'll be hit from over here so I could shift over to the left and kind of make a left flank assault up this hill I mean it's not a good choice no matter what I do and look there's a guard division that's gonna revive arrive here on turn 8 and then there's two more uh, artillery and a guard corps that shows up here on turn 9 um, 
or I can come over here and that option doesn't look well good Moscow farm I mean we've got all these farms here right now this looks like the best option is a left flank push so at this point um, I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start And I know it's going to get me shot up, but it is what it is. But I am not going to just... It doesn't make sense to me to launch. And those French aren't coming out of that, out of those entrenchments. That's not going to happen. Let's see if these guys can hit something. They can hit this position here. 0 to 30 or 0 to 45. Well, we'll take that. 44. Fantastic start to the battle. I just I just don't see another way to win this battle. Germans have some good cavalry, real good cavalry, like guard corps. Um, okay, so Franco-Prussian War. The uh, those guys can't fire now. I'm pretty sure. Zero to sixty-six. Zero to sixty-six. These guys are out in the open, and I'm just gonna pound him in the middle. I'm just gonna keep pounding him using my artillery and um, oh, one oh up to one oh five. Great. Zero. Well, that's not great. Dial in those guns. And that's what the Germans have. The the Prussians, excuse me. The Prussians have good. They have good um, artillery. Fun fact. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm going to get shot up doing this. I guarantee it. Because the French have range. And we're dealing with these... These French um, Chaspo rifles that they could just throw down a wall of lead. The Germans have the needle gun, it's a good gun too, but the Chaspo is better. Uh, at least my understanding was it was a better weapon. So we're do dealing with that. Um, and um, and at least we could get a little bit of cover in this this woods here and then maybe deploy here and just lay down a barrage on these guys and then hit them in the flank but it's going to take time to develop that attack um 25 turns it should be 10 turns just to develop this attack over here but i'm cool with it the french aren't coming out of their positions they're just not going to do it even if they did and I mean, isn't that typically? Oh yeah, they're just firing away. Oh, 48 men, and they're already disrupted. Good deal, it could have been a lot worse. Oof. I mean, they're firing from that distance. We're going to move under fire. Not something you want to do. All right, I think that's going to... Oh, residual shooting. Well, well, at least our artillery would have shot out. Take it. I'll take every casualty my artillery can inflict. Eight. All right, good deal. All right, here we go. Pro turn two. Uh, we're gonna. Ooh, 
the map edge mamba. But I mean, this is what armies did. Look at what Lee did to Grant when he was fighting uh, in, in his campaign um, to march towards Richmond. He just kept going around his flank. Only, um, I think he kept going around, around Lee's left flank. We're just going around the French right flank. Well, actually, it was Lee's right flank because he kept going around and around and around. Yeah, they were going on Lee's right flank because they went all the way to Petersburg, Cold Harbor. They just kept marching around him. And then, but what I don't want to do is go into an enemy. Um, with that, yeah, I've got a. I'm gonna attack an echelon, I think, and, but that might not be so such a great idea where I start the attack off and not this next round but the round after that you're gonna get yours don't you worry goals to get these guys towards the center I don't know another way to, to crack it Actually, I'll, I'll use my uh, and I will I mean they're shooting at me from that distance guns where they can get some effect and I am going to leave um, residual troops back here and I'm also going to move these guns up this hill here so hopefully I can get a shot at I want to keep harassing fire up all right I think that's everybody we haven't gone very far but we have shifted and I've got a co two core now over on this flank and uh, when I get a third core over there and some cavalry support, I think we can make an advance over here. Um, and I want to get this artillery going here. 67, great. And I want to get this gun over here. Hmm. here two that's not very good you guys got range they do hmm I think what I'm gonna do with this artillery piece is I'm gonna zero to 30 nope I don't want to do that can I reverse that shoot loads not next that's all right. I'm going to push that artillery. I wish I could at least change facing. That's a bummer. Okay. Got these guys here 0 to 30 or 0 to 45 or 0 to 29. Hit them. We've got to do some damage to the bad guys. Okay, who has not moved? Don't want to move them, don't want to move them, don't want to move them. Okay. And that's that turn. Oof. Oh, man, I'm, I'm probably suffering 100 casualties moving this, making this maneuver. Oh, good. Whew. Could have been worse. Saint Privat. I want to take that. Have that heights. 
take this and hold this on this height and blast down into these heights. Fifty-two men, that's not good. Nice. All right, 37. Nice hit. 50, good. Oh, fragmented. Even better. Change your facing. I can't believe he can fire through. I guess he can see over those woods. I mean, you've got woods here, and he's shooting over them into my guys. All right, our first attack is getting ready to step off. Command. Let's move to back this hill here. Step off with the second core. Have one more turn. Come on, you guys need to rally. It might take me too long. I mean, we're already, well, we're only two turns in, it's all good. Keep this left marsh. The next core that comes here, I will start them advancing towards Gravelot. But not until. Let's see if we can get a hit with these guys here. 30. Let's go with these guys. Eight. Come on, we gotta do better now. Thirty-six. It's forty-four. Can't fire in this battery up here. Three batteries of guard corps artillery. These guys are fragmented. Hit them again. Big hit. Big hit. Ah. So I can break them. They may disrupt the units around them. And if they do, we'd be in good position. All right, that's that for that turn. Here we got one on my artillery. Eight. Thirty-nine men. It's time to start the advance. Turn these guys this way and start moving them up this way. Move these guys up and then move the next regiment in. Hopefully it's a nice echelon attack. We're getting echelon left to right. Attack and echelon is basically one group, then another group, then another group, and they hit as a ha you know hammer. You got to be careful because you don't want to piecemeal. I 
don't mind them firing away at that artillery that's there. If they wipe that out, I'm, I'll be fine with that. Residual fire. Nope. Oh, yep. Yeah, we got the artillery. 56. Nice. Oh, disrupted. Great. 19. Oh, we got our first fire. There we go. Nice. All right, Prussians. Bring these guys on. Cavalry just behind them. What do we got? Guard cav. Guard cav. These guys are great. Core cavalry and core. They have good melee. We can get them up that hill. And the second group. I'm going to have them move. To shoot. Boys. Big loss and breaks. Oh, come on, give me, give me. Nope, that would've been nice if I had some disruptions. That that's big. That's gonna help the assault. Let's just get this cavalry. So I've got three divisions of cavalry. I think these what these are. Yep, cavalry divisions. And two core ready to step off on the initial attack. Can't hit this. Can hit 15. Really? Okay, well, we'll move this up to here. Probably try to move it into here so I can start shelling that position there. And these guys are just going to move to the middle and wait for the breakthrough and they'll advance. This attack might take too long to develop, and if it does, well, that's just what it is. But unlike Von Moltke, Von Moltke, or Von Moltke, however you pronounce it, I'm not just willing to throw my troops against that. And I know that uh, my Prussians are tough troops, but my, my uh, digital Prussians... Okay, who did I miss? Lots of units. There was an uh, important unit I missed right there. Hmm. Two men, I believe, is fired. Nope. Oh, what am I going to do with these guys? I'm going to turn them this way. These guys have not fired, so... Keep hammering this poor. Good. We have 40 down. And on a hill, so. Okay, they've already broken, so. And they've already fired. So I've missed anybody before. Nope, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. And we're not going to do that. Nope, nope, nope. We'll leave our. Uh, these guys are what? Jaegers? Yep. 
The Dry's Rifle. Shooting attack 98, melee 190. Shooting attack 98, no. 129, 229. Shots pulled. 214 and 161. So, yeah, there you go. All right, that's going to do it for that turn. We're going to start the initial attack. We've already seen off one French unit with our artillery alone. There we go. Run away. Fire away. Leipzig farm, huh? It's just kind of like, okay, we can shoot. Cavalry right there. There you go. I like the fact that I'm firing back. Yeah, I think it was. I think um, Grant kept going around Lee's right. He was marching to to the left. They were marching to the left constantly because they were always trying to get around Lee's right. I've been reading a lot of Civil War stuff lately, so. All right. This is a bloody war. I mean, these guys, this is state-of-the-art technology for the time. The Chasse-Bowl and the needle gun. And the needle gun was just devastating to the Austrians in the Franco-Austrian War. And I think that, if I recall correctly, the Austrians are still using, I mean, these guys are still using um, muzzle loaders. I mean, and the Germans are using the needle rifle. Oh, wow. These guys can't hit anything? Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's the cavalry unit in front of them. Huh. Oh, let's move these units then. These guys are online. How many casualties they're causing? If they're firing at multiple units there, fine. There we go. We definitely can't bring these guys up the middle, that's for sure. Six night. Oh, disrupted. Nice. Hmm. Move them again next. 
next turn. That's a bummer. Pretty too good. Hopefully we can break up these units. Maybe I can shoot now. Yeah, I had to get that infantry out of the way. Five up to one hundred five. Up to sixty-six on these uh, chasseurs. So chasseurs, that's cavalry, isn't it? Oh no, light infantry. Ninety-one, fantastic. Time to go. This is almost all my cavalry, but I think it's the right move to make. I know it's the right move. What are the casualties looking like so far? So the enemy's lost 2,300. Okay, wow. All right, our artillery is having an effect. We've got 160 killed, they've got 193, but they've got, oh, they, they routed 2,000. So about 3,000 to 600, that's great. For an, it's not gonna last, but it's good for now. And it's time to get these units. I don't have any more time. I gotta start the assault. And that means everything to here has needs to advance. These guys are going to get shattered. But this force is going to be to get up there, hopefully at max strength, start rolling the flank. Okay, let's see how it goes. They're just hammering the, that artillery. Get out of here. French turn. 21 turns still remaining, so I've still got 80% of the battle. If I can do it, we can. High ground, take the high ground. I just can't. I can't imagine being these guys, man. I just—it's it, insanity. There is a really good video on YouTube of a um, Civil War artillery piece firing rounds at an old APC, and it's absolutely—you're you're in a position where you you're you're getting shot at from the artillery piece. Uh, actual rounds, solid shot, and the sounds it makes, it's terrifying. And, it, it, and I think it's a parrot gun, and it, about every other shot, wow, he's just disrupted the unit from that range. Every other shot is just, you know, and it's like, how did infantry even, and it just comes out of nowhere. It's, it's so instantaneous. Take us five turns to get up there. Right. Oh, bummer. Come on now. Can't 
shoot, but there we go. Some supporting artillery now. Yeah, why not? strength of that, that artillery unit. There we go. Doing some damage. What's left of this artillery unit here? Oh yeah, plenty of guys. There we go. Let's get these troops moving. Get this attack up to snuff. Yeah, if they spread out their, their shooting enough, have successful advance. Got mittens. I think that's where that belt buckle came from. Was the Franco-Prussian War? Was that that saying? on the German, the Prussian, excuse me, the Prussian belt buckles. Their goal, you gotta take St. Privat. This is it. Choice. Either advancing or not part of the attack. Okay, that's going to be it. as best as I can do six turns out of 25 one fifth of the game's over I only have 57 percent more of their troops to run Oof, they're already fragmented That's right. <sighs> Saint Privat's gonna fall. I want to. I want to take that position and decimate these guys. Decimate these guys. that 
artillery firing into those guys has an effect. Even if it doesn't do damage, it still affects them. It's kind of, it's, I think it's probably similar to the, uh, what they have in, in um, John Tiller games. They, they fatigue, raises your fatigue level, makes it easier for you to eventually route. All right, get him. Nice, every forty. Oof, come on. There'll be no melee today. All right, go. All right, this artillery. How many minis he lost? I'm under a hundred. Well, now he's got a lot more. Nice. Get over to thirty. Well. Over to twenty seven. Keep that. All right, let's advance the colors. It's just going to about do it. This is where it's going to get nasty. That's a distance for those guys to shoot. choice. We're going to find gaps. I got to keep I got to keep encouraging myself. Okay. Oh, this is the. Uh, can't. That was messed up. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, too late. Oops, I don't know how I did that. Oh, I must have, I must have hit the mini map by accident. I don't think I fired these guys, did I? Didn't. Hmm, I think that's everybody. These guys didn't do anything, but I don't think they can fire at this point. So let them do that.
to get a shot. Is there anybody I've missed? Got the whole blank moving now. I appreciate all that fire they're putting on that artillery piece. Basically, a whole core fire now. There we go. Blast them. Blasting down on me. I'm hoping that I know that disrupted units don't do as much damage. So. We gotta make, make for that hill before that unit gets back. I got plenty of turns. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to keep telling myself that it's going to be okay. You know, 12. Take it. Residual fire always seems to be so inappropriate for artillery. Ooh, new forces on the field of battle. Nice, happy. Get them going. Welcome, Saxons. Can't fire up that hill, huh? Come on. Oh, no, not so much. To advance the guns. We can fire up that hill. Now I've got more artillery. That's nice. Take that. Ah, come on, you get better of that. I know those guns are exposed, but that's how this is going to go down. Advancing.
This is a big attack. Everything is... side of Avon Ville. Yeah. For the most part for this attack. Is this unit fired yet? Uh, I think I gotta here we go. Not enough. Okay, so there's been a big shift to the left of the Prussian forces. We're going to see if there's any, any payoff to that at all. Not there yet. 18 turns to go. Who hasn't moved? These guys. Well, I'm not moving them. And that's all that's left. All right, here we go. We're going to take a break and we'll start the next episode. Take a look at the casualties. At the end of episode one, the maneuver episode. Oof. That's the stuff that scares me. Good. There we go. Look what just came up in the rear. Looks like the guard corps arrived. Things just got a lot more difficult. That's all right. I got another corps coming up behind mine too. So Saxons. There we go. Trade them blow for blow. I really want to break my cavalry out and charge that cavalry for those guns, but I'm not going to do it. Not yet. What shall happen? Oh, they've got artillery back there now, too. I can't let that... Oh, boy, I gotta, I gotta get up there. Good. Not good. Nice. Oh, good. 
right, that's going to do it for episode one. Let's check the casualties real quick at the end of the episode. And you're going to see that now things are, oh my gosh, look at how close these casualties are. One apart. They're the same. That's nuts. It is a very close, even battle, which even battle, I mean, Gravelot had 300,000 troops. I think the Germans had about 180 and the French about 120. So over 300,000 troops. It's a huge battle. Um, thanks a lot for watching this episode. We'll see uh, um, an episode two. I think it's going to be a three episode. So episode one is going to be maneuver. I think episode two is going to be contact. And, and the uh, episode three is going to be the bloody conclusion. So stick with this one. It's going to be a good one. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, comments are welcome. And if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.